Good morning, everybody. On my way to go see a, a listing this morning. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's on 201 Carlton in Los Gatos. And what's interesting about this property is that when uh, my wife and I were looking for a home in Los Gatos, we looked at this property about five years ago. And since then, it was selling for, God, I don't remember what the price was, uh, 800 or something like that ish and then uh, it needed some remodeling and uh, we were considering it uh, the, the couple things were a little bit goofy we decided not to make an offer but clearly someone bought it and um, now uh, they've you know over four years have, have remodeled quite a bit and put it back on the market now and I think it's being listed for one point six nine or one point yeah one point six nine ish uh, more or less I'll include the link to the uh, to their little uh, in-house tour so everyone can see it but um, yeah wow it's amazing how much it went uh, how much has grown the market has increased uh, in Las Gatas over the uh, over the past four years God even the last 12 months it's just insanity but the one big selling point for this particular house is uh, the fact that it's Blossom Hill Elementary School. And that's the one crazy thing. And looking at comps um, in Las Gatas specifically, it seems that the big school, the biggest demand school right now is Blossom Hill Elementary. That's the big factor. Uh, and gosh, I think we all know that the, all the offers coming in are gonna be up at asking uh, and more, uh, at least asking, but more. And we'll probably see multiple offers above that. I'm interested to talk to the realtor about what the pricing strategy is. Uh, is she thinking it's low, high, or, or what? Uh, but we know that people are going to come in uh, fully uh, financed ready, a pre-qualified, healthy down payments, if not all cash, and be ready to move. So uh, again, it's the schools. Uh, it's a, on a little bit of a busy street. But um, I think people are willing to um, uh, to forbear that and or to overlook that in exchange for the school. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, I'll take a couple videos of the uh, uh, the actual um, inside in a minute. So, oh geez, remember this '80s song? <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, bye. Looks like uh, Broker Tour eats. Those are a must-have to keep all the people happy. <laughs> Open space kitchen. Yeah, this definitely is the house that we looked at way back when. Uh, I remember a half wall uh, coming in over here. Looks like they took that down. Uh, pocket doors into a, an office. Wow, looks nice. And then a very open kitchen and a really great, great family room, playroom for kids. Man, this place was great. Yeah. I very much remember, very much remember seeing this place uh, five years ago. It's changed a lot. They've done a spectacular job. Hopefully I'm not making everybody seasick. No work needs to be done if that will offset the streets. Uh, multiple four bedrooms, bathrooms over here. Wow, this is really a nice shot or a nice uh, house. And here we are in the master. Nice and wow, high ceilings. That's really nice, airy. Gives a good sense of space or makes it feel bigger. Double sink. Nice shower. Oh, the design of this place is really great. Consistently clean. Feels very spacious. Nice. Really well done. Really well done. Yeah, big closet. Wow. Let's take a look at the backyard in a moment. It's got a lot of good things going for it, I think. Wow, the good place for kids. Uh... Nice little neighborhood, backyard looks good. Good place to raise the family. Um, little bit of a busy street, but that's okay. 
uh, just a little fence off the back yard, front yard and it looked real nice. Um, it's not overly a busy place. Um, kids can play in the front and there's neighborhoods and little kids that live in the neighborhood so that's even better. So, so checking out the backyard, they uh, added on a uh, master bedroom, which is what that section is there, uh, which kind of ate into the backyard, but that, yeah, that's okay. Um, and still, but it's, it's a nice place for the kids to play. And uh, the master bedroom added on probably a good 400 square feet to the house, so that's awesome. Um, great place, wow, it's only been uh, four years since they've done this. They did a lot of great work. Um, yeah, the other great thing about the house I learned is that it's right on the border of Los Gatos um, School, so Blossom Hill School, but across the street, I believe it's Carlton School. Uh, so it's one of those properties where you gotta be super careful about where you buy, because you wanna buy the school. Uh, district is one of the big factors, um, but a lot of the realtors coming through are, are asking, is this Los Gatos schools? And yes, uh, which is a big thing. Uh, if you're a, someone who doesn't care about schools, you will be paying a premium for that listing because it is uh, the Los Gatos schools. So you got to think about what's right for your, for the buyer, right for you as a, as a, as a, a purchaser of the home. So anyway, that's the backyard. Anyway, that was cool. Um, Thanks. I'll put the link to the listing and my friend's putting it together and she's doing a great job and, and um, uh, the listing will be in this video. Okay. Bye.